And the Great Dane has got a pair of nines. Like the blue touch paper. We raised to 2,500 plus. Plus. How cute does Casco want to be against Gus Hansen? Wow. Yeah, two hands in a row. Again. Almost in a row. Fourteen thousand eight hundred. One hand in between. So, I always tell myself, why would I ever fold this hand? But I'm always wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, you're not, getting, you're not tidying up on us. Uh, I made it twenty-five hundred. See, I don't know what your book says here, Phil. Never be the first one out. That's the primary directive. Oh, oh, oh that one. That's I, the I, primary I was, directive. I was Just more interested in what to do with this hand. Uh, even if it was aces, you would have to fold because you can't risk being the first one out. In this okay. I guess I have to do something at some point. Sorry, guys. You have up to four hours before any of us say anything. You know those times where somebody's, it's their turn to act and everyone knows it's their turn to act, except the dealer doesn't know. I'm the guy that never tells the dealer. I want to get eight people to the table that wouldn't tell the dealer. I want to see how long, when about every year, there's some moment where the dealer doesn't know that it's his turn to act. I want to see if you had eight people like me, it's the how long, well. would the dealer wait his whole shift out and tell the next person, you know, like, I just want to see what the, how the dealer's waiting going. for the last guy to check or something, and yeah. that guy's already checked. Yeah. So the dealer's sitting there waiting. When <laughs> right. I get knocked out, can I sleep on the couch here in the <laughs> back? No problem, yeah. <laughs> in, in the back. Yeah. You can make side bets. Take advantage of these. All right, here you go. Three rings. Like. <sighs> and makes a call. Oh, by the way, we're going to okay. see both cards. Oh, we get all four Ace, cards. Oh, two queens. queens. Oh, we'll see yeah, pair of queens for Harrison. Seven. Uh, Jack ten. They're matched up. No, we've got a pair of nines for Gus. Big. Let's see the flop. I'm surprised Gus you even thought about folding. Look comes five, deuce five. Queen's on the lead. Gus needs one of the two remaining nines in the deck. Ooh, that's a ten. Uh, one away. Yeah, except it was a diamond and he had the diamond. It's a jack. Good hand. There is that was it. Yes. No, miss you. Pleasure. Sorry. You except, you except, except for getting knocked out first. <laughs> All right, that's the master go strategy, man. You know. Did you even win? He didn't even win a hit. No. Wow. I did win one. You did one. Queen. Oh, that's yeah. right. You won that right, one. Right, King hit. nine three. Wow. Good luck, guys. Good luck to you, you kid. Thanks. So Harry Kasker, our online qualifier, he has yeah, shot like to the top of the board. Ram Ovaswani and right Andy Block at the bottom, but still very much in contention. The Unabomber, Phil Lack, getting creative with the 10-5 suited. Trying to punch his way out of trouble. And a marginal hand for Andy. But he calls the raise. Pass. Pass. Kaska has Jack Four suited. He's already in the big blind and he completes, so there'll be three players to the flop. Three players. Black goes into the lead with a pair of tens. Andy Block, though, has the straight draw up and down. Check. A nine or an ace. Bet 1400. And he wants to bet that draw. He's fast playing it. Nothing, of course, for Casca. Raise. A little bit of an over, over bet, don't you think? I don't think when I play poker I act instinctively like the DVD series recommends. Phil Leck has the flush drawer in clubs. He is a favourite. He's trying to bamboozle the brainiac that is Andy Block. Come on, just put it in, kid. It'll feel good. You know? Imagine how that's going to feel. Right? I probably shouldn't be reaching out for your chips or whatever. But it, it would feel good. Just put it in. Come on, you're Andy. You're going to win. Whatever you have is beating me anyways. I have to have a draw. 
how can I do this without a draw? I'm allowed to say this stuff, right? Right. <clears throat> Think about it. <laughs> got a show one. There's you a draw. The <laughs> I was afraid you were going to call. I had to, like, really coach you into a call so that you would fall. My God, you scared me there, dude. You can do the hyper over that fall. Supreme mind games being played by these two pros, but it is... Phil Lack, who is getting himself out of trouble and stacking the cheese. We're not going to call Harry the online qualifier anymore. We're <clears> going to call him the online wizard. Right, what are we doing with the last cards? And yeah, the, the same thing we were just coming off of, right? That was... Yeah. Loser shows two. Loser shows one. two. Winner no exceptions if it's the river or whatever, and winner the winner shows, shows one. Unless the winner has to show both, which has happened in our group. Well, if you want to win the hand on the showdown, you have to show both, yeah. It's three. Is it three six down there? Three yes. six. Wow. Raise to one thousand two hundred. Pass. Got me out. Pass. Call. Romanello makes the call. Normally a very talkative player himself, but Surely less garrulous anyway. with Phil Lack at the table. All oh, right. He gets a heads up, and he has to show. Pass. Oh, he's gonna. Have to one, we're seeing three cards, that's for sure. At the end of this hand, we're see seeing three cards. <clears throat> Two players. Romanello has flopped an up and down straight draw. Check. 21. Bet 2,100. If you're raising one, you have to show one. Call. Cool. Uh, talk to me. Oh, so we're not doing showdown loser has to show both? We're doing yeah, loser. No showdown loser still has to show both. And there it is. Romanello has hit the nuts. Sick. Can he induce 52. Phil Lack to make another bet? Yes, he can. 52. Unless he puts Phil Lack on spades. Romanello is now free rolling. The question is, how does he extract even more money from the American? Raise. He's made the price as tempting as possible. Well, I have to show nine high. <laughs> <laughs> he took that long. I guess he, That's he, also he, a he tell. Thinking if you want to re-raise, mm -hmm. he gets five to eight. I hope he can. I hope I don't see a three of hearts. There's a red one there. That would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> At least we got a ten jack. He might have the nuts. He might only have an ace or a king or a queen. Or a and that is how he not to play he nine might have high. You. He wasn't he bluffing. He was bluffing with the best hand, but he might have played you perfectly. Got perfect maximum that tonight should have just smooth call. Well, I had a lot of outs. I had anything that any ace. Uh, sorry, any non ace or a uh, nine. I had. Huh? I had the deck minus eight. He only had eight outs. About? I have a ton of outs. If an eight outs don't, if what eight cards don't come, there? if what an ace or nine doesn't come, I win. Winning how? You'll see. You'll see. I bet. Oh no! I, you, oh, you're Brent, assuming Brent, that he's going to fold if he three, only has jack high. Yeah. Yeah. You see it on TV. My, hand, nine, my cards are exactly the same. Two jacks. I would have called if I had ace king or queen. Interesting way to play two jacks. Plus, you'll see it on TV. But there's a reason why I raised. Well, yeah. Like I, I want I to see the nine high. <laughs> no, I think I'd still commit to an ace as well. Raise to 1,600. Mm. Maybe a king or a queen. Hmm? Maybe a queen. Pass. Just didn't, I didn't think you'd like, ever call that re raise. Pass. Phil Lack has just lost a chunk of chips. This could be the opportunity to get some of them back. Come on. All in. It's around 13 and a half, but I'm not sure. The 
Ram thinks he's tilting, he might call. He's a big favorite not to have aces right here. <laughs> the tell is the big gap that's happened already in time. I think he has kings. I'm gonna, at this point, I'm going to take him off kings as well. So what is that, 9? 14-2. 14-2. I would like to see both cards around if you're going to fold. Normally, of course, Ram could just slide those back to the dealer unseen as he's folding, but Phil has thoughtfully rewritten the etiquette of the game. No, no, I had a nine. nine suited. I had at least two over cards. I had you. Fair and square, I had two nines. And Phil saying exactly what he had. Still five players left around the table here in the poker lounge in association with full tilt poker. Always learning something. Pass. Pass. Andy Block on the button. Looks down to see a pair of eights. Raised 1500. Pass. And Romanello with big slick. Well, he knows that Andy Block folds more hands to raises than probably anyone else at this table, so he decides to slow play it and see a flop. Could be brilliant, could be awful. Make that awful. Check. Bet 1500. 